Hey y'all, this is Jessica from Bless Your Heart. Let's make a wavy line tumbler. This is from Vinyl Cottage. It's Cowhide Turquoise 04. We're gonna use just some Hobby Lobby stencil and some Serape that I got from there. And these are just some random vinyl pieces that I got to cut my lines and I went ahead and layered them just to save time. This we're going to wrap around the top of the tumbler. It was cut kind of weird, but that's all right because we can make it work. Just wrap it around and get it to fit the best way you can, and we'll move on to the next step. Now the easiest way for me to get it to be as bubble and crease free as possible is just to apply a little bit of pressure and roll it out on my desk as I go and just move that vinyl back. That truly is the easiest way for me, but you use whatever method is easiest for you. And you can see here where I cut it a little wonky, but like I said, that's okay. We're just gonna clean up our seam and keep moving forward. So I do apologize. I didn't hit record a second ago when I thought I did, but I'm gonna start with the Serape pattern first, and then I'm gonna put the stencil vinyl, and wherever there's stencil vinyl, we are going to glitter that. So just make it fit to the best of your ability. and just alternate the Serape pattern and your stencil vinyl until you get all of them on there. And this is how I've taped off to glitter the bottom. We're gonna use Mod Podge for our adhesive. And the glitters we're gonna use are Boots Design Caribbean and the Glitter Guy Experiment 626. We're gonna paint our Mod Podge on with a fluffy makeup brush. Just got this one at Dollar Tree, I believe. And we're just gonna get it as smooth and even as possible. And we're gonna start with the Glitter Guy. And it's our chunky, so we're gonna put that on as little or as much as you want. And then after that, we're gonna go and fill in all of the holes and go full coverage with the Booth's Design Caribbean Glitter. When you're done glittering the bottom, immediately remove the stencil vinyl we have on that bottom piece. Now we're gonna go in and go line by line where we put that stencil vinyl. We're gonna start with Peachy Olive Glitter, glitter Salt Water, and we're gonna do that top one. The second line is gonna be West Texas Glitter in Emerald. Again, you just wanna use a fluffy makeup brush to get that as even and smooth as possible, and just put your glitter and you're going full coverage with these. 
that saltwater glitter is a deep navy blue, just really pretty. And the emerald from West Texas glitter is going to be a deep forest green, super shiny. Both of these glitters are super shimmery and it's just gonna make all the rest of those colors pop. And you know I gotta be extra. So we're gonna add black glitter. This is just the mix that we've been using for the last several videos. We're gonna add this little bit of black glitter to those little black spots that are in that area. And I'm gonna kinda dab the Mod Podge on to give the black glitter look a little textured look to it. So it's not just flat. And after you've glittered till your heart's content, I just use a softer kind of different brush, I guess, to brush all that extra off. Now we're gonna use Love All Bling Honeycomb on those gold pieces up here. And again, we're just gonna, gonna go in and dot that Mod Podge on to give the gold just a little bit of texture because we want it to have almost a raised look, but not really chunky looking. But it's just a little something, again, extra. And for this very top up here where these little like rusted pieces are, we're gonna use the Glitter Guy Aged Amber. This is one of those like low key, everyone should have this color. It's really not something that you reach for all the time, but it is absolutely gorgeous. And it's gonna make these little rusted pieces kind of just stand out. Once all that extra glittering is done, you epoxy till smooth and get ready for your vinyl striping. Like I said before, these were done at the beginning. I did them off camera. I just kind of layered them 
just to save time right now. And I'm just gonna go on both sides of each of those glittered lines just to kinda help camouflage any imperfections and anything like that. This is just permanent black, it's a permanent turquoise, and then a permanent silver. And that's all we're doing. Now to continue on the extra train here, I added a holographic silver nail tape to the top and bottom of the Serape. For the decal, I did a large offset, a medium offset, and then just the regular old decal. This is something I just whipped up in my studio, my Silhouette Studio. It's black vinyl, black permanent vinyl, white permanent vinyl, and then the holographic Cricut. So I'm just gonna layer them using the parchment method because it's just easy, that I'm gonna put it on the tumbler and I'm gonna epoxy till smooth. And once you see it all set and put together, you're gonna to see that two and three offsets just really make that pop. And it's going to just really almost 3D off the tumbler when you get it placed on. When I get it all set and everything, I place it over my seams, epoxy till smooth. And here we go. This is our final result. Thank you all so much for hanging out with me today. I hope to see you next time. Bye.